welcome back to another video another episode of allow me to retort um, today's video in my series of alphabetical videos is going to be E and E is for everything is awesome in America you see a lot of people complaining about where we are today and I understand America is not a perfect country but I want to show you that there is no perfect country right now and that some of us who are complaining a lot whether you're complaining about the president or complaining about your taxes or complaining about your job or whatever that there's a lot of worse situations you could be in in other places of the world so we ought to be very thankful for being born here in the great country of America I think I'll start off with this article here um, gay men in Chechnya are being tortured and killed more will suffer if we don't act see I find something like this interesting because in America you're held as a hero or you're so strong if you speak out against Mike Pence or speak out about being gay you've got Jesse Smollett martyring himself and saying oh it's because I was a gay black man well he could have been in Chechnya where literally the government is okay with people kidnapping you and killing you it's pretty serious over there and the thing about it is in Russia they don't play around uh, the president of Chechnya said in an interview when they were asking him is it true that gay people were being tortured and killed and kidnapped in his country and uh, he's like we don't have any gays they don't exist here he's like that's absolutely incorrect we we weren't torturing and killing gays because they don't exist <laughs> if there are any here take them to canada praise be to god take them far from us so we don't have them at home to purify our blood if there are any here take them so guys are here complaining in america about how hard it is to be gay and to be black and to be black and gay and trans fish or whatever but if you were born in chechnya You'd be disappeared. You wouldn't even be a statistic. When you're here trashing America and saying how Mike Pence is the devil, uh, you could have been born in Chechnya. We now have an influx of people coming from Mexico and Honduras and Guatemala and other uh, Central American countries. And you wonder why. Well, here's why. The countries suck. That's not racist. Those countries, those areas suck because they're overrun with gangs. Gangs and drug lords and you know people are dying the murder rate in Guatemala and El Salvador is at an all-time high you know dozens of people are dying daily because their countries are corrupt the government is afraid to act against these drug lords or the drug lords are the government in a place like that and so to escape these people are coming to America to seek refuge because America is great again they're risking their lives they're risking everything they have to come here so desperately but then you've got people who are here in the greatest country on the planet they're here with all these beautiful freedoms and they're crying and complaining and they're wanting to leave not realizing the blessing that's right in front of them speaking of freedoms that you have in America that you might not have other places else the internet Xi Jinping China's president is uh, pretty much crazy China is not a fun place. Well, when it comes to the internet, China is not a fun place. The internet is heavily censored. The people in China are heavily monitored. And so if you're thinking America sucks and you want to go to China, you might want to think again. In China, there are certain websites, or certain videos, certain movies you can't watch just because they are offensive to the leaders of China, particularly their president. Xi Jinping has been compared to Wendy the Pooh more times than he would like and this has led to him banning video games and all imagery and even the Christopher Robin movie in China because he does not want to be compared to Wendy the Pooh. It is a crime to put out propaganda or images that compare Xi Jinping to Wendy the Pooh in China. Is that not crazy? Think of all the funny jokes you can post to Facebook about Donald Trump. The fact that you hate Donald Trump, you can go out there, you post whatever you want to about him, and be fine. Nobody's going to come knocking on your door and lock you in the gulags. Do that in China. Go to China, since America's not so great, go to China and go talk trash about their leadership over there. The guy who's censoring a stuffed bear. Go to China and pull some of this crap that you pull against Trump in China and see how well it goes over. All right? just the basic things like for instance here we have uh, this website called the water project 
and the water project is basically you know they're they're trying to get water to people all around the world because there are some places in the world that don't have clean water something so simple something that we buy in bottles or even if we can't afford to get it from a bottle you just turn on your faucet and there you have fresh clean water that is safe for you to drink today nearly 1 billion people in developing world do not have access to clean water 1 billion people don't have access to clean water now here you are on your smartphone or your computer relaxing comfortably complaining about America but you have clean water you can post whatever you want to on the internet without being censored or without having the cops come after you unless it's you know harmful you know but America sucks right you got your clean water you got your cell phone you got you got your freedoms and your driver's license and but you know what despite all that America's super racist the United States of America the most racist place in the world oh wait what's this here known to police Toronto police stop and document black and brown people far more than whites no Canada they're so nice in Canada this is where everybody was gonna go because Donald Trump was racist Donald Trump was so racist but here you have Toronto police they seem to be racist too it's not a racist thing it's inconvenient it's uncomfortable but until black and brown people stop committing crimes black and brown people are going to be the ones stopped and documented more often that's just the fact of life I don't think Toronto police are racist for this but obviously some people do including the the article that led me to this article was uh this here don't believe the hype Canada is not a nation of cultural tolerance written by a black man Charles officer uh, he's Jamaican uh, a Jamaican immigrant to Canada and he writes about growing up in Canada in the 60s and the 70s and how things were racist and it was hard for him to grow up because there's a stigma and he was left out of hockey games and treated differently and all this kind of things so it just goes to show no matter where in the world everybody's got their problems you know Britain's dealing with uh, Brexit right now which isn't that big of a deal compared to everything else I've covered but if right here in America everything is awesome it really is uh, comparatively you know we've got our problems we always will have them but the thing is you have a president in office right now who is actively trying to make America great America was never great well you can shut up um, but you've got a president who's actively trying to make America great what did Obama do all he did was come in and promise change not all change is good change and Obama's fault was not explaining and defining what that change was he's divided our country and now Trump has to deal with the mess but Trump is actively trying every day to make America great again and he's doing well in some points and he's doing horrible in some points uh, the fact that we don't have a wall right now in my opinion he's doing bad but there are some parts where he's doing great he's fighting for our freedoms in other countries he's trying to be a bureaucratic and make these deals unfortunately he's making them with North Korea not Russia that's a whole nother video so all in all I'm just saying America's great it's been great for a long time it took a big hit when Obama came into office but I think we're back on the up and up so for all you naysayers who are so upset that you're thinking about leaving you're looking for somewhere to go you hate your country you, you don't respect the flag you want to kneel doing the national anthem because you don't want to support a country that supports racism well go kneel in Canada because they're stopping and checking black people go to Africa the motherland and go go mingle with some of those people who don't have clean water I think you're being silenced do you think Trump is just trying to silence the people who don't like him why don't you go post something about Winnie the Pooh in China do you think it's super hard to be a young gay man in America despite the fact that the White House was rainbow colored like three years ago go to Chechnya and be gay have fun I'm also gonna have a link to the water societies uh, page 
if you want to go donate to them if you want to actually do something and make a change in the world make this world a less crappy place you should donate to the water society and maybe we can lower that number of those one billion people in the world who don't have access to clean drinking water you know so thanks for watching my video you guys have a great one Everything is awesome.